Katrina Sack, welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun video for you guys today. I am going to be giving my pregnant Clydesdale a little bit of makeover. Well, because I've been out of town and she really needs it and she is super dirty. The last three days I was over in Texas and I come back and she is filthy. So I'm really excited to show you guys the before and the after because it's gonna be a huge change. So let's get it started and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and don't forget to like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to turn that post notification bell so you guys are notified every time I upload a video. So let's go grab this dirty horse and groom her. On our way to get this filthy, big, massive horse. I usually like, when people say, how long does it take to groom her and bathe her and do all that stuff? I tell them it takes about a good hour only because she is the size of a truck. Look at that. Hi, dirty girl. And her feathers, are always filthy because I've told you guys in the past, I keep alfalfa blocks and they're pastures. So what she does is she paws at it and then she gets her socks. They get so filthy and dirty. All right guys, I have my little bit. Everybody says, why did you name her little bit? I just think it's an adorable name and it literally suits her because when people hear a little bit, they're like, oh, she's gotta be so tiny. I'm like, Bruh, wait till you meet this monster. Oh my God, y'all check it out. We have baby bunnies born at the farm. Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. So before I go ahead and start giving my baby girl a makeover, I just figured I would go ahead and announce the winner of the GoPro Hero 8. And it is, congratulations. But since it was such a huge turnaround and we had so many people enter in the competition, we figured that we are going to give away a second gift. So the second winner of the second giveaway is you have just won yourself a $50 Visa gift card and a 24 ounce horse tumbler. And thank you to everyone that participated in this and joined our channels and gave us all the love. We figured that in the next couple months, we're probably gonna do another giveaway because we love you guys so much and we could not do it without any of you. So stay tuned. Check out how dirty her socks are. They are about to be beautiful when I'm done with them and she spills her green. Good job. But right now, I'm going to give her a big, nice makeover. Her and this baby that's in the belly. Her little bun in the oven. It's so crazy that in two months, we're gonna have a baby here. I like, still, it has not hit me yet. And I'm just really ecstatic for it. And I feel like, are we gonna have a Philly, a cold, like what? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting though. So let's go ahead and start soaking them. fungus problem so she has to get scrubbed like four times a week just to keep the fungus under control and the flies are just so bad I feel like glide so horses should be up north because the Florida heat down here is so hot and when I first got a little bit she wouldn't even allow you to touch her feet she would literally cow kick you I mean she still tries to do it with the farrier but uh me and not so much I can literally stand here and she would never so what I like to use for her legs when I'm scrubbing them, Dawn dish soap helps a lot with the fungus. It really controls it. And then I always do a little bit of the mane and tail after I'm done scrubbing them. So she gets a double scrub down with this. So we try to take on more with getting this fungus gone. Oh yeah, groom me, groom me, ew, what all? Oh my gosh, you're gonna get food all in my hair. Please do not chew over it. Gross. When she tried to groom me and dropped food all over my leg. Obviously it feels good for her. You get dinner and massages. This is a really good combo. Little bit's like, I'm used to it. Oh my God, oh my God. All right, fine, you can grin. This is so gross. I feel your grain sipping through. So owning a glide sale is a lot of work. 
especially in Florida, because they are just massive animals and they get so hot. I mean, oof. that's the reason I don't like putting it in a stall because I feel like horses would rather be turned out during the day so they can go wherever they want to cool off in the shade and they can walk around. And I did get bigger stalls in my barn built customly for her because I had her prior to my barn. And a little bit is just a sucker for her. What can I say? Do you blame me though? I just to loose, don't you dare, don't you dare go bunny hunting, because I will hunt your little butt. <gasps> Do you see the little bunny? Oh my gosh, where'd it go? And it went out of bounds. To loose, leave it alone. Gosh. Okay, so why I let her front feet soak, I'm going to start on these dirty, dirty back feet. And look at this tail. It's about to be nice and groomed, but let's get the back feet scrubbed. And as you guys can tell, they were not as dirty as the front. And people ask why I don't shave her feathers. The reason why I don't shave them, I will during the winter time. So I'm fixing to shave them right about here in the next couple weeks. And I will show you guys. But during the summer, we do keep fly boots on her to keep the flies away because flies do just love this horse in particular. I mean, they love every horse, but her in general. So I try to keep her as comfortable as possible. And the flies are actually starting to like die down now, finally. Gosh, if flies didn't exist, that'd be amazing. I am an animal lover, but there's some things I don't like and I don't like flies because they bother my horses. So anything that bothers my horses, I don't like. But to help out with the fly population here, I do drop 40,000 fly predators a month and some of the boarders drop some as well. So it's like, we are just, we try to keep the horses as comfortable as possible. Oh, girlfriend, I know this feels good. All right, next leg, onto it. And you have a baby in it. So cute. She is such a good mama, too. And I tell you, the best, the best mom ever. What a good mom. But I've had a little bit for three and a half years, but when I first got her, what a difference. This horse was would not let you touch her feet, would not let you come close to her. She must have went through a lot in the kill bed, and she was a baby, she was still learning. So I took a lot of time, like bonding with her in the beginning, because it was so heartbreaking to watch your own animal and have your own animal not trust you. So I worked on it so much. I mean, but little bit takes care of me. Little bit would never hurt me. Like, out of all my horses, a little bit protects me more. She's the only mare I have. And if she gets turned out with all the geldings, she like will stand right by me and protect me. Um, she's just such a good horse. It's crazy, because I'm not a big mare fan. I know there's people out there that love mares, which are great, I'm not hating on it, but I am all for geldings. All for them. That's the reason why I want a colt, just like Henry. But she already gave me a colt. So if she wants to have a little mare, totally cool with me, as long as the baby's happy, healthy, and she's happy and healthy. On to the spraying. No, get back here. Where are you going? You literally just, oh, in the trash? Come on, this way. You have a little more green too. Up here. She is such a human, such a human, such a diva. All right, back to getting all this soap off. Look how pretty they look. And they're all clean. And guys, it doesn't stop here. I have so much more to do. I love a clean, beautiful white leg. I say it's time to bring her in the barn and start the grooming process. But look at those legs, how clean. Ooh, looking good, girlfriend. You ready to say hi to your baby? Here's Co. Here's Henry, her baby. Say hi, mama. Wanna say hi to your baby? Go say hi. Go say hi. Mama and son, isn't that crazy? Soon you're gonna have a full-blooded sibling. Say hi to mom, hen. And look how pretty her legs look. 
They look so good. Yeah, you do. Now that I'm out of breath from scrubbing her legs, I am going to start grooming this big girl. Your favorite part. And when I first had her, this horse would not sit on cross ties, would not let you do anything. She's still kind of shy of her ears, which I totally get it. I don't want my ears touched either. But we work on it and see, she'll still let you touch them. I'm probably like one of the only person, oh, there we go. Only person that she'll allow to. She really likes it, but I don't know why. Why don't she just need to scratch all the time? You know you like it. Oh, are we gonna drop for me? Look at her baby, Henry. He's one of a kind. As for her feet, I usually do. I can get them really white when I use OxyClean on them, but we're just gonna do her grooming here and look at little sleepy Henry. Isn't she so beautiful, guys? I mean, come on, look at that face. But let's show him. We're gonna give you a nice little haircut. Look at this hair it needs to be oh, brushed. Oh, and excuse me, excuse me, sir. You almost just pushed me down. I'm just trying to show off your mama. And then this tail is gonna be all beautiful. You're about to look so good. And look at this, oof. Oh my gators. Hi buddy, hi you. So I'm gonna use two different types of curry combs. This one's a little more intense. It gets the dirt out a little better. And I'll use this one first to get all that. It was like, look at this, it's crazy. And the rubber ones, I like them, but this is. Okay, let's do a little comparison. So you see here on this side, Check it, check it. And little Henry, it's so funny. He still tries to nurse on his mom. Oh my goodness, little bit. You would think that you've never been groomed. I mean, it's believable with this. Whew. Okay, now time for the rubber curry on this side. And we're gonna see which one does better. I mean, I do have a bigger rubber curry comb. Sir, are you gonna bother me the whole time? But I feel like the metal one, and that's actually an old school one, does the job better than this one. So let's look. I got this so far. Yeah. And then this side. I think we're getting a lot more dirt out of this curry comb versus the other one. Look at her face. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? She loves to be groomed. And look at this winter coat. Wait till I clip her. She looks like a different horse and her dapples that come in. Woo, she looks hotter than she does now which is hard to believe, I know. Henry. Seriously, it's like snow in here. And look how clean her socks are, oh my gosh. I love a clean horse, like I love a clean car. And look at this coat. I mean, when I do clip her, which will be in the next month, I will do a video and you guys will see it's crazy. This is all gone. She's all, she's like a different color. It's wild. What are you doing? You just looking at my shirt? That's all right. Okay, Henry. All right, Henry. All right, Henry. Stop trying to take my clothes off. Earlier, I would bathe her, but, and give her a full bath, but I can't right now. It's just so cold. It is so cold. And if I did, it would make her freeze too. We want her to be as comfortable as possible. So this is the next best thing. Look. <laughs> you want to help? I wish you good. I don't know if you'd be a good help though. Now I'm going to use my hard brush to get the rest of the dirt out. We're done using the hard brush on her body. After we curry combed her, I'm going to get a soft face brush for the pretty mama and brush this thick hair. Oh goodness. Guys, this is a really soft brush and I'm gonna brush up all the dirt on here. Yeah. So I like to use Shoshin, but I'm going to go ahead. I just, a four lock, I already applied some of this to it. It is going to be perfect. Put it down. Okay. And we'll go ahead and do this. We're gonna go ahead and squirt a lot of this in our mane because it really needs to be brushed. I'm gonna 
I cut the split ends. Um, I usually do polar main, but I actually like it really long. So I'm just going to kind of give it a little bit of a clip. That's what we're doing as Henry tries to spill my hair products. Henry, you gotta leave my shirt alone. I know, it's annoying. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just clip it like this because it's winter time and I want her to do, I do want her to have a little bit of a mane. And see, I'm trying to let it grow out, but it looks pretty good. And on to the tail. Are you ready a little bit for the tail? Go Jack, is she ready? Yes, go. Thank you, Co always agrees with me. This guy, not so much. He's like a rebel. You are a rebel. It's only because it's your mama's, you are your mama's son. Oop, I was able to groom you to a little bit. Handsome. Since she does have such a thick tail, I'm going to use two products on this. Cowboy Magic, it's like a gel, a detangler shine, and then the show sheen. So I'm gonna just douse this big tail with so much because her tail is so thick and Henry definitely has the same tail as his mom and it has to be tamed all the time. I mean, I'm really jealous. I wish my hair was thick, so. So when brushing a tail, I like to do sections only because her tail is so thick. So I'll start off with this section and then you could see another section. It's like mini dreads are getting started. And I brushed her tail like a week ago. So this is what happens. So let's get to the sections and I'll show you guys. Go oh, check this before out. We've got like 20 sections to break through. And then with each section, I like to braid it so I don't get them intertwined with the other dreads. And when I'm done, I'll unbraid all of it. And she'll have a fully groomed, beautiful, luscious tail. Now I'm going to undo all my braids. I just did, I only did a couple because honestly her tail wasn't that bad. Because like I said, I try to keep up with it. I do keep up with it at least once a week because this thing is massive. So it's really frizzy and it is all brushed and groomed. You can literally like do whatever to it. And it's so pretty right now. She's looking so good. So now that our tail's all groomed and brushed through, I'm going to go ahead and take off, make it even. Look how pretty. Only that much, not much. My hands are so dirty, oh my gosh. Maybe I should put it in a braid. What do you guys think, a braid? Should I braid it? I will. The braid's a little messed up at the end of it. But we're getting there. And I don't have a hair tie. No, I'm This is great. So you guys should definitely hire me for French braids because obviously I'm really good at them. <laughs> okay, and I hope I have a hair tie. I know I saw one. Don't move it. Don't move. Did it last? Kind of. Look at this braid, how beautiful. So I do braids on my side job. A little thick right here, but it'll work. Hey, it looks better than it did. So guys, look how big they are. They are muddy because I just gave her a bath, obviously. I'm just about to drop it. Don't let go, it is so heavy. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Picking her feet and owning the Clydesdale's feet, or owning the Clydesdale in general, like these feet are massive. Look how big and muddy and disgusting. Would you look how clean she looks? And that is how you give your Clydesdale a makeover. Looking good, girl. Well, guys, two hours later, that's, yes, two hours, that video is, we have a groomed Clydesdale. Her feet look good until I turn her back out, and then she goes in the dirt and rolls. And her hair is pretty. She has a nice French braid. But if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give it this video a big thumbs up. And stay tuned because in two months, less than two months, we have a baby in this belly. And it's going to be here, which is crazy. She's like, oh my gosh, not again. I'm gonna have to give birth. But yeah, thanks guys.